The first thing we're going to do is start with the system analysis on paper. So looking at what the work we've already done, and I'll briefly review that we here have the starting position and we see that all of the energy is a form of gravitational potential energy. And so we already know that the total energy of our system is going to actually be the gravitational energy at the start. Then at the end of the jump, we can tell that the gravitational energy is transformed into kinetic and transferred to the rubber band as elastic potential energy. And how we're going to find that is using conservation of energy. We know that the total energy from up here is still the total. And what is uh, still in gravitational energy, the leftover must be the elastic energy. So the elastic energy is going to be that total energy minus what's still in gravitational energy at the end of the jump because you are a little bit off the ground. And then of course over here we have color coded our inputs and outputs. All right, let's go to our template. So the first thing I'm going to do on my template is look at these four boxes on the right. So a really bright green screams to me that that should be the inputs that you have to put for every jumper. Still needed inputs, but maybe just the one time to set up the park. And that super bright red, that's an output, and probably we should save the bright red for the most important one. And then there's still other outputs that we need. To save time, I'm gonna jump to having that filled out. You could pause here and check that you got the same color coding scheme and units. So let's begin, and I'm gonna just work my way to the left. Starting on the right, working left. So that's starting gravitational energy we have from our system analysis, that's just MGH. So the starting gravitational energy, the mass, I'm gonna tell the computer to go over here in D3, and then multiply that by gravity. This being an experiment that we really want to go well, I am gonna use 9.8 for gravity as the strength of gravity, 9.8 newtons per kilogram or meters per second per second. So it's MGH. Where is the height? Right here below it. So the starting height is in D4. Hit enter. That's good. The total energy of the system from the system analysis, we know that's just the starting energy. So I'm going to just set it to the cell above that we just calculated. Then working our way down, the total energy of the system is always the same. So at the end, it's going to be equal to the total energy at the beginning of the system. That's an easy one. The ending gravitational energy is mgh. So we're just going to do that again. Go tell it to times 9.8. Of course, now the height is at the end. So I'm going to go grab the ending height here. 